am your pilot JT and today we're going to talk about the G2 stack and the G3 stack by Hobby Wing. What's the big difference? Well there's not a whole lot of difference. A couple things we'll talk about. Uh, with the G2 you use pigtails on the side and in the front and with the G3 and I'm going to show you a box here. With the G3 you're able to use the pigtail or wire directly. I do like that option. With the G3, you're supposed to be able to get 32 kilohertz sampling, and it's supposed to handle that that 32 kilohertz a lot easier than the G2. The G2 will do it. The G3 is supposed to handle it a lot better. Uh, they, they're both running the uh, STM32 F405 processors on it, or MCUs, and everything's pretty much the same, except coming out of the side here, on the G2, it's running 10 volts out. The new G3 is running 12 volts out, up to two amps. So big improvement on power. You're able to power your VTX, which powers your camera if you wire it that way. That's the way I wire it. BEC is not supported on the G2. It is on the G3. And also on the G3, they have a new uh, VTX switch on it which is supposed to allow you to control your VTX from your remote control. So I haven't set that up yet. Um, I have it set up on my Kikut uh, F7, uh, but not on the, uh, the G3, uh, which is an F4. So these are my two uh, main flyers, um, my number one and my number two. And I just put the G3 on today. I do have to say, I like it. It seems to be, uh, it seems to put out just as I say. It's, uh, I can fly it aggressive. The only thing that I think is uh, on the beta flights, I got tired of messing with beta flight 4. Point whatever, so I dropped all of my quads back to 3.5.7, and I have no problems. I don't have to sit there and tweak it and tune it all day, I just get to get out and fly. The only thing I don't like about that is I don't get to use PID profiles or auto cell count profiles. Um, where if I put a 4, 5, or 6 on it, a 4, 4S, 5S, or 6S battery on it, uh, the quad automatically knows what I'm putting on there and switches to that PID profile. Not a big deal. I can switch it right from my remote. takes an extra second. No big deal. These are identical quads. And... From the Kakut F7 and the Hobby Wing G3, I have to say, I like flying my G3 a lot better. Now, I just got that on there today. The G3 stack, instead of having a 45 amp 4 in 1 ESC like the G2, it now comes with a 60 amp stack. Yeah, 60 amps in a 4 in 1. My Kakut F7 comes with 65 amps, uh, but it is an F7. Hobby Wing is putting out a great product. I've got about eight of those G2 stacks. I won't go out and buy the G3s and upgrade everything um, simply because I don't think there's big enough change in it and the G2s are working perfect. I only bought the G3 because I seen the 60 amp 4-in-1 ESC on GetFPV. And I was like, well, hell, I didn't know they came out with a, a 60 amp. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. So I had the 60 amp hooked up to my G2 flight control board, and then I got to thinking, well, they wouldn't just put a 4-in-1 ESC out uh, 60 amp and not do something with the flight control. So I got to looking around and jumped on Hobby Wing directly, and sure enough, they have the F, or I'm sorry, the G3 stack. It's still an F4, but it's a 60 amp 4-in-1 ESC. It's putting out 12 volts. It is BEC. Uh, supported the G2 is not and um, everything else is pretty much the same if you decide just to switch out the flight control board and say uh, keep the 45 amps the 45 amp 4-in-1 ESC and you just want to upgrade the uh, flight control board you can do that it's plug-and-play get the uh, G3 flight control put it on there unplug your pigtails and plug it right in there's no change in that the only option that they're giving you um, on the G3 that the G2 doesn't have is the VTX switch which is going to allow you to control your imagery 
from your remote control. So, not a lot of change, but some big change, all in one, however you want to look at that. So, uh, I'm not going to upgrade all my stuff. I'm happy with what I've got. I hope you'll check out the G3. I'm sure uh, Get FPV will carry it very soon. And if you're not flying Beta Flight, uh, you should be flying steel stuff. Either way, you can't go wrong. I am JT, your pilot. I appreciate each and every one of you stopping by to check out my videos. I'll have more coming soon. Coming very soon. Uh, sorry, this is kind of a shitty video. I'm out here with all the noise and everything. Uh, but I wanted to do a quick video before the sun went down. I wanted to get it on tonight so you could check out the, the new Hobby Wing uh, G3 stack. Until I see you next time.